Red Bull Air Race was born in 2003 as a perfect blend of speed, skill, and courage in the skies. It all began with Red Bull founder Dietrich Mateschitz and aerobatic pilot Peter Bessignier, who had the idea to create a race concept that would go beyond traditional aviation competitions. This vision aimed to offer a unique experience for both spectators and participants. The first race was held in Zeltweg, Austria, and this new type of competition quickly grew, spreading across the globe. The rise of Red Bull Air Race gained momentum in 2005, marking the period when the race became a global phenomenon. In the early years, the races were held in only a few countries, but from 2005 onward, they began to attract significant attention worldwide. As pilots maneuvered skillfully at high speeds between air gates, spectators filled the stands to watch this thrilling spectacle. The race format quickly became more sophisticated. Pilots were now competing not only for speed, but also to showcase their flight skills. During this period, races were held in iconic cities such as Abu Dhabi, New York and London, adding to the allure of Red Bull Air Race. The races transformed the sky into a stage, and millions of viewers tuned in to witness these breathtaking battles on television. Meanwhile, the technological infrastructure of the race also advanced significantly, providing a safer and more impressive viewing experience. Red Bull Air Race evolved from merely a sporting event into a brand, establishing a prestigious place in the world of aviation. The races became a platform that pushed the boundaries of the sport, reaching an ever-growing global audience each year. The challenges faced by Red Bull Air Race in 2011 significantly impacted the future of the competition. All races planned for the 2011 season were cancelled due to safety concerns and organisational changes. These cancellations caused great disappointment in the racing world, and many believe that Red Bull Air Race had come to an end. However, this period provided an opportunity for the organization to restructure itself and develop a safer race format. Red Bull embarked on an extensive revision process to enhance the safety of the races and protect the pilots' lives. Races were also cancelled in 2012 and 2013, but during this time, a new race format and stricter safety measures were developed. By 2014, Red Bull Air Race made a strong comeback, but despite this return, organizational challenges persisted. These challenges raised serious questions about the sustainability of the races, and ultimately, in 2019, Red Bull decided to end the competitions. This difficult period marked a significant turning point in the history of Red Bull Air Race and left a lasting impact on its legacy. The ups and downs of Red Bull Air Race began with a major comeback in 2014, but this revival did not guarantee the long-term sustainability of the competition. The races resumed in 2014, sparking a wave of excitement with the first event held in Abu Dhabi. However, in the years that followed this rebirth, the races faced a challenging process due to organizational issues and declining interest. By 2019, Red Bull announced that the air race was no longer sustainable and decided to end the competition. This decision caused significant disappointment in the aviation world and came as an unexpected end for many pilots and spectators. The end of Red Bull Air Race was associated with economic difficulties and a decline in sponsorship deals. Nevertheless, even during this period, the races hosted many unforgettable moments that left a mark on history. The final race in 2019 saw Australia's Matt Hall crowned as the world champion, marking the last chapter in Red Bull Air Race's history. The end of the races was seen as a great loss for fans of the sport, but the legacy of Red Bull Air Race still lives on in the aviation world. The legendary pilots who made their mark on the history of Red Bull Air Race were among the key elements that heightened the allure of the competition. Among these pilots, two-time world champion Paul Bonhomme became one of the most respected figures in the race, known for both his technical skill 
and composure. Hannes Arch was recognized for the innovative maneuvers he brought to the competition, while Kirby Chambliss became a fan favorite with his bravery and aggressive racing style. Each of these pilots became symbols of Red Bull Air Race, adding spirit and character to the competition. Their stories became one of the elements that enriched the history of Red Bull Air Race and forged an emotional connection with the audience. Red Bull Air Race did not just stick to traditional race formats. It continually developed innovative formats and rules. The knockout format, introduced in 2007, was designed to offer more excitement to the spectators and completely changed the dynamics of the race. This format tested not only the speed of the pilots, but also their strategy and psychological endurance. Additionally, the ever-changing course designs presented new challenges each season, creating a fresh and thrilling experience for both pilots and spectators. This innovative approach became one of the key elements that set Red Bull Air Race apart from other aviation competitions. One of the key factors behind the success of Red Bull Air Race was the advanced technology and innovative engineering solutions used. The airplanes used in the races were specially designed to be lightweight and highly maneuverable. Made from carbon fiber and other lightweight materials, these planes could reach speeds exceeding 370 kilometers per hour while still performing extremely precise maneuvers. Additionally, the race tracks themselves were a major engineering achievement. The air gates were set up meters above the ground, and the pilot's millimeter precision passes through these gates, left both the pilots and spectators breathless. The television broadcasts and digital platforms that aired the races also leveraged advanced technology to offer viewers innovative experiences such as 360-degree cameras and virtual reality. The integration of technology to this extent greatly amplified the impact Red Bull Air Race had on its audience. Red Bull Air Race increased its appeal by being held in various strategic cities and locations around the world. These races stood out not only for the performances in the sky, but also for the iconic landscapes of the venues where they were held. Whether it was the iconic skyline of New York, planes flying under the chain bridge in Budapest, or the stunning shores of Abu Dhabi, these locations added a visual feast to the races. These cities were carefully selected to enhance the global allure of Red Bull Air Race and each race was designed in a way that complemented the cultural and historical context of these cities. Red Bull Air Race began as an adventure filled with speed and skill in the sky in 2003 and quickly became a global phenomenon. This race left its mark on the world of aviation with the courage of its pilots, the use of advanced technology and the unique experiences it offered to viewers. If you enjoyed the video, Please don't forget to like it and share your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in the next video.